Francois-Joseph Notterman was a, a very influential and important person in the history and development of the harp. His father, Jean-Henri, was a harp maker who made single-action pedal harps, including famously for Marie Antoinette. And so I guess it's not entirely surprising that uh, uh, Francois-Joseph became a harpist and a very accomplished one, as well as a teacher and a composer. He also ended up taking over the family harp business when his father died, along with his brother. And this particular piece you just heard of his, the, the first of his seven progressive sonatas, those sonatas were published as teaching material, but they're beautiful pieces in and of themselves. Each of them starts with a very short prelude, so short it's kind of blink and it's over. And that prelude always puzzled me a little bit until I read something that made it make perfect sense. That this music was intended for social settings, so like a soiree or a salon, and imagine Jane Austen and certainly Notterman and Austen for example, were both writing during the Napoleonic Wars. And so this prelude then was kind of a, a call to action or a call to, call to come and listen, that, hey, I'm going to play something. And so they're, they're quite show-offy, they're quite virtuosic, and they very much establish the key that the piece is in. 
and sort of the style of the piece without really saying that much of importance. So if you came in halfway or, or, or missed the prelude, it, it would be fine. You'd still get the bulk, bulk of the piece. And it's funny because one of my favorite series of books is, is Patrick O'Brien's series on um, sailing ships during the Napoleonic Wars. And in those books, the very first book has the two main characters meeting for the very first time at a musical gathering in Menorca. They're listening to a string quartet play, but right after that, somebody plays the harp. And I like to imagine it might have been this sonata. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next week for another episode of Harvest in the Wild. <laughs>